John Rule. There it is. It's the second the of June, 2016, and here we are looking at a bunch of photos of milkweed species, various the ones. Great. This first one is in production plant. Plexi uh, Asclepius and Plexicolis, which you don't see many of in northwest Arkansas. I found a few other people that have, have photographed them. This is the climbing milkweed called honey vine milkweed, Sinantium levy, that we've talked about for several years. And it's one, like all the others, that allow right. the caterpillars. A friend caterpillars. asked one about the bloom. And here we're throwing in some... Uh, Damselflies. Uh-huh. Beautiful. We have two uh, different ones uh, on here. And you see what they're parked on? That's the uh, mound, the... Peace Mound oh, at Royal right. Peace Wetland Prairie. You all see right. that green background? Okay, Asclepius viridis, spider milkweed, also called antelope horn milkweed. And it is a spring beauty in northwest Arkansas. There's another view of one of those plants, and this one had a skipper on it. And the Right below it is a spider, and that's the species of spider that you oh, see yes, a lot. The crab spider with its arms spread. Yeah, it wants to get that skipper. Okay, here's another Asclepius amplexicollis, curly leaf or blunt leaf or sand milkweeds, one right. of the names for it. The kind that's so rare here. Yeah, and now we've got purple milkweed, Asclepius purpuracins and it's also in bloom this time of year and uh, it's just very attractive to a lot of bees bumblebees and honeybees and, and if it's a warm day this mm -hmm. spring which it hadn't been many of then it's got butterflies right. going to it here's this is a, a common yeah syriaca and you can see the bumblebee approaching it there. Comes complete with bumblebee. Mm hmm That's great. And here's <laughs> another view of Syriaca, common milkweed, with no, no insect on it. Well, it may have some we can't see. But it's in bloom still on the uh, early in early June. And this is one that you found. Right, down in the <laughs> And I went down there. there to get about 100 photos or 150 that afternoon. That's after wonderful that you did that. <laughs> it's it's Asclepius. That's, that's great. Very got you have different stages of it. Uh -huh. It's just great. And great I, shot. I could have run a whole hour's worth of those pictures for what I made. This is uh, Asclepius tuberosa, the popularly called a butterfly weed, but it's a milkweed, butterfly milkweed. And that's, of course, a monarch cat uh, on it, hoping uh, it got to reproduce last year. And there are some folks that showed up at the garden tour at World Peace Wetland Prairie, and I met them just a few minutes before over at a restaurant on South School. Mm -hmm. and where I was inviting a lot of people to show up over there. And right. several did, just came over there as soon as they finished eating. Very rainy day. Yeah. And there's Lauren Hawkins with a couple of ladies looking. And you see that uh, on that table top, you can see the pictures we just right. showed. I do. Uh -huh. they're, they're so beautiful shots. It's a great, great learning tool. Here's another couple, I think, that I, I met the first time that day. And of course, I can't mm -hmm. remember all the names, but... Mm -hmm. On some of them, on, on the uh, Facebook account, I can show you some of them. There's uh, Carol Daggett and John, uh, oh, Dalrymple. And uh, they're regulars at the Senior Center and activists doing things. See this man's hand? Yes, He's I do. He's got a butterfly on <laughs> With it. a butterfly on it. That butterfly it. lit on his hand for just a few seconds. Looking at the flower book. And I clicked one time on it <laughs> like this, and it, then it was gone. Yeah, that's great. But that's a cropped version of that, that photo. So uh, that's, that's the kind of thing that happens when you've got some bright colored pictures out right, there. Right, right. Okay, Tim... Remember Tim? No. Ernst? 
Oh, yes, yes. Yeah. I recognize the hat. Yeah, yeah, he's always <laughs> wearing one. And he and his wife there, Pam, I believe uh -huh. it is, uh, they, they came by, and you know what? He's not carrying a camera. He's the guy that makes all those picture right. books yeah, of Buffalo River. Pictures are all hidden places. And he was one of my students in freshman English. In right. 19, he remembers it as 1973. Mm -hmm. I couldn't remember which year it was. You think you were the inspiration for him? Or? Well, I, I may have had. I gave him good <laughs> grades because he could, he could write an outdoor story, which right. I, okay. I like students to do in their essays. And uh, here's Dick Bennett and yeah, Joe I Bennett. It looks in the like center. he's teaching. And John King. Well, Dick's always teaching. He's, he I can't haven't get seen over John it. King in years. That's nice. Yeah. And there's the man over the buffet. That's uh, Dick's son in law and Dick's daughter there. And his daughter is shaking hands with uh, Miller Williams' wife. I see. The late Miller Williams' wife. There's Dick Jordan. Bennett. Yeah. yeah. Jordan Williams. Uh huh. And here's Dick Bennett with Lauren Hawkins. And here's uh, Dusty. That's what she calls him, the musician on the left, and Kelly Mulholland. So Dusty works uh, with closely with uh, uh, Emily Cates. Okay, oh, here's uh -huh. Jordan. Or oh, there's Jordan. I, I thought right. that was my best picture of her. That's good. And she, I just caught her looking up when she's coming up the stairs. Okay, another damselfly. Damselfly. And the these guys banded uh, abdomen. Yeah. When I can get a decent close-up of them. I, I always want to share them, so I shared more than one here today, um, I hope. And back to the milkweed set. Till next time, do your part to help keep the water clean. Do your pure. part, folks. Woods green. See ya. John Rule. There we are. The second of second of June, 2016. And this is uh, the alley near the National Cemetery. It goes from, runs between Government Avenue, which is behind me in that picture, and yeah, Hill I don't Avenue, know where that is. straight ahead. And that's water running from yeah, the right to left. Yeah, I have seen the river running through it. Yeah, well, <laughs> the, the university's building new buildings on the right there, and uh, that water's going into property that's now, under property that's now gonna be National Cemetery mm -hmm. in the future. It's a lowland, it's a swamp. And there's the uh, Memorial Day 2016 National Cemetery, oh, May Flyer. 30th. Yeah. Uh -huh, it's got the information there. There's a fella in, you recognize that uniform? It looks Confederate to me. It is Confederate, John. <laughs> and look at the medals, I don't know who, I didn't ask him to recite who all these medals actually belong to, but it's the whole thing is, is representing the Confederates. The, uh, I don't think the caps, the hats are right for the Confederate. Well, but I don't know. I don't think they had any umbrellas to They probably had a little there. bit of everything. But that that morning, um, the 30th, the, the uh, yeah. whole, whole place got washed out. Nature's weeping, too, over these unnecessary deaths. Yeah, see, this, yeah. this old vet's got a, an umbrella. He just... He had it over him before I walked down there. I was trying to stay, keep my camera dry for a while. And these well, people, thousands of people were in the parking lots there. Colorful that, name. Uh, this lady's a member of Daughters of the American Revolution. And yeah. She's got a bunch of medals on there and pins. Mm -hmm. And everybody was decked out in different things. Right. Uh, some of them had... Uh, well, we'll see some guys with motorcycle jackets on, different right. motorcycle groups. Here's a little family group standing there. And that man wasn't wearing any veterans garb, but they may have been there because of Grandpa, you know, is buried there. And here's a, a lady whose husband is president of the Regional National Cemetery Improvement Corporation. Mm -hmm. And she managed to survive out there with her little blue and white uh, outfit and, and umbrella, still holding it up. It was drizzling still at that point. And you just see all these groups, but 
I wish I had an aerial photo when they were all in there. Right, that would have been a colorful the, contrast. Nobody it. knew, I think, that that storm was going to hit like it no, did on, on Monday morning. And so here's a professional from one of the TV stations there with all kind of coverage over their cameras. Right. And you can see uh, flag shirts were popular and just a, a lot of different uh, things. If I could show you all the pictures I made, you'd be amazed at the diversity of what they wore. I'm sure I would be. Thing. And even little Boy Scouts. Here's a guy who played his trumpet. Mm -hmm. I didn't have a, I don't have a recording of his playing, but I recorded a few, a few short clips of people who were uh, doing various things and telling right. me their name and stuff. And that that young man probably. Uh, has a dad in that cemetery too. I see. Just like most of these people, it, yeah. You see the a lot of older people. They're planning to be planted in that uh, right free cemetery for military veterans and their wives or in or spouses. And they're. Uh, it's a, a marvelous thing that doesn't get enough federal money because. Uh, the Regional National Cemetery Improvement Corporation has to uh, raise money to mm -hmm. enlarge the cemetery, and that's a nonprofit that I'm a member of, I guess, life member really. And uh, so these these folks were out in great numbers. You see, there were some active duty military people there, right. and active duty or reservists right, and uniform. active duty yeah. in uniform. And some of the uh, older vets, especially the ones with, uh, you know, colonels and things like that, they still got their, their uniforms and and they uh, uh, used to be able to tell them by their shapes. Could tell major grade officers and above. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this is just a melange of uh, photographs of of the folks there. There you go, United States submarine veteran. Oh. He was on the USS Drum, so he's supporting the restoration of the USS Drum. Mel Carter was President was it, Carter was a submarine. Another commander. guy, yeah. uh, was he? Nuke, a nuke submarine commander, President Car Carter. Carter? Yeah. I didn't remember yeah, that. He was, he yeah. was. Okay, and so they had great uh, things. This is uh, a memorial foundation for First Lieutenant Tom Martin. And they've got their number. I guess anybody wants to donate. I don't know mm -hmm. what, what all they do. Uh, a lot of families have those things set up. Believe in heroes under armor. Under armor is a clothing provider that's very popular. And that kid had an interesting one. Okay, this is one of the motorcycle groups. And a lot of guys no in that, or, yeah. <laughs> uh, a lot of them had different things on their jackets. Uh -huh. They weren't all the same, but they were similar. So uh, I guess if you safely get through combat, you're supposed to be brave enough to ride a motorcycle on a wet highway. There's one of the local men uh, in the center there. Mm -hmm. Okay, this boy has a Home of the Brave shirt. That's Under Armour. And the lady uh, is Lorna Sterrett in the white in the center yeah, of the picture fine. there. And she's a, a many times supporter and member of the Regional National Cemetery Improvement Corporation. And look at this guy. Let's see, I forgot what. He was making pictures too, but I forgot what his cap says. I can't see it very well from here. But uh, anyway, th these, these ladies were under the shelter, and they all spoke for me just a, a little bit on a sh short video I've got on right, YouTube. Right, right, right. And they, uh, they're all widows of, of vets who are in there already. And of course, mm -hmm. the spouses will be joining. Now, who's this yeah. gentleman? This is uh, Jim Harder. and. After I made his picture, he made my photo, so I stuck that in there mm -hmm. uh, a little later. Milo James Cumston, he was probably the most decorated veteran in Fayetteville. There's, I see. Uh, he really started the effort to uh, 
uh, support the National Cemetery growth. And I see. He lived about a block away from my house. I see. When he passed away, and that yeah, was a it's hard, yeah. harder with me and my uh, <laughs> appropriate shirt for the day. Right. Anyway, till next time, do your part to help keep the water clean, the air pure, and the cemeteries green. With lots of extra room.